Before I start this video, I have to take another few seconds to draw attention to this amazing community. Yesterday I said thank you for 500, and as of writing this, I am about to crest 750. Y'all crazy. Anyway, here are my top 10 bucket list coasters. This is lower on the list because of the uncertain fate, however, I desperately need to ride this ride. Everyone says it has the best launch they have ever experienced, but the closest thing I have ever come to experiencing it is Stormrunner, and I love that launch so much. While I have heard this is far and away the best ever B&M invert, I'm not really a fan of inverts if I'm being honest. Of course I will ride them and enjoy myself, I just never find myself wanting to return to them. But maybe Nemesis can change my mind, I guess there's only one way to find out. Another coaster that I have only heard good things about. I really need to make my way to this park to experience the magnetic controlled spin and ejector moments, but I also really need to get back there to ride the next number on this list. Putting this above Time Traveler might be a sin to some, but Outlaw Run has fascinated me from the day I first saw it. I don't know quite what it is about this coaster that gets me so hyped, but man I need to catch a ride on this. Often considered to be the best Intamin, or even the best coaster, this layout looks absolutely elite. From its twisted drop all the way to the bunny hills, this ride looks like it doesn't let up for even a second. Sign me up please! 149 miles per hour with the same launch mechanism as Dragster and Stormrunner? What else do I need to say about this? I need to ride this for so many reasons. The coaster that put Arrow out of business? I'll try it. A face down 90 degree drop? Okay. Music that blasts in your ears as you tear through the layout? Sounds cool. Fire? Heck yeah, let's do it. The machine that dethroned Steel Vengeance. Need I say more? The machine that dethroned Zadra. Need I say more? Okay, before I get into number one, I just wanted to throw an honorable mention out there. El Toro may never open again after back-to-back -back years with accidents. Assuming it does, it would for sure have a place on this list, I'm just not quite confident enough yet to put it on there. Also, I really hope that the people sent to the hospital last week recover from their injuries quickly. Maverick has such a special place in my heart, and I hear everything about Velocicoaster is just better. The inversions, the theming, the launches, the night ride, what's not to love? Besides the price of admission to Universal, but that's a whole separate point. So yeah, basically that sums this one up. I'm Josh from Station Wait. Later in the week I'm going to have a video about the decline of B&M in America. If you're interested, make sure you subscribe for that. Have a great day.